Here's a quick review of the work we've done on this commercial trailer, which is basically, we've relined it, we've put a hydraulic hatch in it, and we've fitted it out um, to the customer specifications from a spec supplied. Um, you can see, because these aren't straight airstreams, there's always a little kink in them, we've had to scribe in, there's no, we've used no um, filler or um, silicone yet. We will eventually silicone that in. In my idea this is these kitchen cabinets here. This is a solid st staved walnut worktop we've used and we've had to scribe that all the way in around that edge and nothing is straight on an airstream. Something we've learnt to live with over the years. And we've put down this ply floor here and we've done that curved seating area that's going to be upholstered on top. The customer could have gone for a, a, a white top to it but at the end of the day, we've got a, um, a single sheet. There is a join in it, sadly, because we couldn't get a long enough piece there to curve it. Um, but these tops could actually be made out of white. But they're, they're under the, um, we're doing, I think it's having red leather put into it. So all the cabinets here are made on site. So let's have a quick look at one here. They've all got their, still got the protective layers on, which we'll keep on till the very end. But this one is actually a, a matte gray. And the the edges are still yet to be filled and sanded and um, will osma coat those. But looking inside the units, they're all constructed here. So they've got the three millimeter backs in them. And have a little bit of this wheel arch underneath there, soft close hinges. So there's shafts. These are marine latches, they have to be in there to stop it from uh, coming open in transit. Uh, this one, uh, we put a glass washer in and there's a wine rack in the corner. This is actually a commercial wine bar, this one. So once that hatch there is open, it will basically give them a um, serving area. But we restored the entire airstream from the chassis up. It's only had its first stage polish at the moment, so we're still yet to do a final polish on her. She's had the axle conversion, but you know, this is... Um, 1970s one, very hard to get a decent polish out of a 70s airstream. But, um, and then down the side there, you can see. But that will come up a bit brighter. I've got one at the back here, which has gone through the next stage of polish. Here, yeah. this is going through its final stages of polish. This one's got some damage here we've got to repair. Um, but this is going through final stage polish. As you can see, it's uh, almost mirror-like. And that's the back end of that one. That is it, that's the 25 foot um, 1970s trailer. So it gives you plenty of space to work with. So that's just an idea of the kind of things that we do. I'm sorry to show you a commercial one, um, but at the moment I haven't got a residential one in stock, but it's the same principle.